Are you pregnant? Did you just find out that you're having a baby? Did you get too many ultrasound pictures? Well, if you did, then today I'm gonna be helping you turn your whole pile of ultrasound pictures into a bunch of cute designs that you can hang up all over your nursery around your house. Hi, I'm Denise. Welcome back to my channel and to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make use of all of your ultrasound pictures. I'm sure when you have your ultrasound appointments, you come home with a whole roll or a whole strip of ultrasound pictures. And today we're going to be learning how to decorate them, do little projects with them, and so much more. So if you're interested in how to make use of all of your extra ultrasound pictures, then keep on watching. One of the first things that you can do with your ultrasound pictures is first is to use it in a pregnancy announcement. A pregnancy announcement is when you announce that you're pregnant either on social media or telling your family or your friend or just announcing that you're pregnant to people. I actually did use my ultrasound picture in my pregnancy announcement and I'll insert this picture right here. I feel like this was a really cute way to announce my pregnancy. I like it. Comment down below what you guys think of this picture. Also, what have you guys done when you announce your pregnancy? Did you use an ultrasound picture? Another way that you can use a sonogram picture or ultrasound picture is in a picture frame. And I'll show you guys just how to do that. Okay, so this is going to be the picture frame idea. And what you're going to need for that one is a picture frame. I have one right here, and this one has you know, a little thing on the back. And I have a white paper for the background of it. You're also going to need some double-sided tape, some scissors, and your baby's ultrasound picture. So first, what I'm going to do is cut some tape. I'm going to cut like three pieces. They're not going to be big, just small. Three little pieces. So I'm just gonna place them on the back of here. Okay, this is the back of the frame, and then the picture is gonna go just like this. Then I'm not sure if I want to have it in the middle or like put it to the side and like put a quote or something. But I'm gonna take off, I'm gonna take off the parts of the double-sided tape. Okay, all right. So that's on there, and I'm gonna put it inside the frame. Well, first you wanna make sure all the metal pieces are hanging out, that way they're not in the way when you're trying to close the picture. Okay, so here it is. And then with this, you can um, either design the outside, put a quote, you can put the baby's name, you can do anything like that. But I think this looks cute. You can put it on the baby's crib or put it on their dresser or anything like that in their nursery or even hang it on the wall. But I like that it has this, that you could sit it anywhere. Also, if these sides like stick out too much and you don't like that, you can just take some little more pieces of double side tape and put them on there. And I'll do that right now. And those can be just small pieces of tape since it's to me a small area. Okay, yeah, I should have did it like that in the first place. Yeah, if you're gonna do this idea, I would definitely put tape on all four corners. And then it lays down really nice. I think since this has a white frame on it, I think a black background would have been better for this instead of white. Or if I wanted to, I can leave the white and then just get a black frame. And I think that would be nice. Because I think the white is too much. I don't know, we'll see if I decide to change anything or add anything to it. So this is the picture frame idea. And this is the final product. This cute little picture frame with the baby's profile face. So cute. Yes, you can use this. You can either hang it up in your nursery, hang it up in your room. If it has a stand like this in the back, you can sit it on your dresser, on the baby's crib. You can put it anywhere. Another idea that you can do is you can give it to a family member. There is a lot of extra space around here. So if you wanted, you could give this to the baby's grandparents saying that they have a baby on the Way, or a grandchild on the way, a grandbaby, anything like that. And then I think that would be a cute little gift too, a cute little surprise to let a family member know that there's a baby on the way. Another thing that you can do with this idea is you can use it at a baby shower. You can either have it on a small frame like this 
or you can use a bigger board and you can have everyone that shows up at the baby shower sign it and then afterward you'll have this cute little collage of family members all together on this little cute picture frame or poster board however big you would want to do it I'll insert an image right here of the idea that I'm talking about I actually didn't find out about this idea until recently but I definitely would have done it at my baby shower because I think it's such a cute idea like family members can comment cute things write anything and I just think it's such an adorable idea for the next idea for your ultrasound pictures you can actually make a poster board collage I'm actually gonna make two different kinds of posters and I'll show you them right here this idea is going to be a poster board kind of like collage idea you're gonna need maybe six to eight pictures or 12 depending on how big your poster board is I'm actually going to do two I'm gonna do one horizontal and then one vertical so this is my first one just a regular piece of board this is going to be the horizontal one I have this one and this one's going to be the vertical one I'm going to have the pictures coming down okay you don't need to do two poster boards it, it just depends how many ultrasound pictures that you have so what you're going to need for this a poster board you're going to need some double-sided tape you're going to need scissors and you're going to need a lot of ultrasound pictures so like I said I'm going to start with this one this is the bigger horizontal one one. I'm going to use about six or eight ultrasound pictures so I'm just going to pick those out and then for this one you also want to make sure that the pictures are all the same size so like if you have different ultrasound appointments some of the printers are bigger than others or smaller so you just want to make sure they're the same size okay like I said so many pictures I wanted to make sure that I get pictures of like just profile shots and now I'm just going to cut the tape I'm going to do four small pieces of tape for the corners to tape it down before you cut your tape lay out your pictures and see how they will fit that's a good idea you should do that first yeah, these do not all fit evenly so okay so if you feel like your pictures don't fit all the way evenly on your board then just get your scissors and you can cut off like the extra white space on there and that's what I'm gonna do because I feel like the pictures would all fit there's just so much extra white space on there Three down, five more to go. I think a cool idea for this too, if you wanted to try this at home with your pictures, I think it would be cool to do this by the gestational age, I think that's how you say it. So pretty much depending on the weeks, you could do one where he just started out when he was so small and go all the way up to like the end of your third trimester. That would be a cool concept, I think. I'm not going to do that here, I'm just picking them at random. Like I said, I'm not even at the end of my pregnancy and already have like so many pictures so I'm just doing these ideas for right now and trying to help out anyone that has a whole lot of pictures just like I do okay so now I think this will fit a lot better okay so they all fit so now I'm going to cut the tape I kind of just want to do two pieces of tape on each side just to see how that would look so let's see I have eight pictures so I'm gonna need 16 pieces of those side tape and I'm putting it in the middle on the side because since the sides are what keeps turning up it's gonna put it over there hopefully that will lay flat I think it will let's hope the corners won't come up I don't think so oh yeah it looks fine so there's two on each side This one's so cute, you can't even see like what he is. He's just like a little blob with like, just, like a black spot. <laughs> just a little blob. There we got three more to go. Also, if you get your ultrasound pictures taken at different places, make sure that if you do something like this, you just keep in mind the top of the picture, like where it has all the information. Because sometimes they'll have the baby on top like this, or they'll have the baby on bottom. So if you're doing this, if you want, just make sure that this is up at the top unless you don't care and you only care about the picture I don't know I feel like I would be annoyed looking at this whole poster board hanging up and then the words are upside down but just something to think about all right this was the last picture so now I'm just going to take this side of the double side tape off and just place it where I want it on the board and I'm gonna do that to all the pictures now okay so this is what the top row is looking like I didn't think the corners would pop out but they are so I'll probably put tape a long piece of tape underneath right here right here and right here that way it can hold down those areas yep so this is the top row now I'm gonna do the bottom row so actually what I'm gonna do is just put a 
big piece of tape right underneath there and then remove the plastic part of the tape. So like I said, I put the three pieces down, three pieces of tape. But I thought the tape was gonna be white, but it actually has like this yellow tint to it. So you kind of see it, but, but yeah, if you don't want to do it like this, all four corners to one piece of tape, you could definitely just tape up each corner itself. But I just want to do it like that just for now. But so this is it. Also, with this, you can, if you're having a boy or a girl, you can put like blue across here or like pink ribbon or glitter or anything like that or the baby's name. I think what I would do is put like a solid like stripe through here, a blue since the baby's going to be a boy. I don't know, I think it would look nice because right now I feel like it looks kind of plain, but if you want to decorate it or be fancy or anything, it's a nice color or glitter, something to make it pop and stand out a little bit more. But that is the poster board idea. This is the horizontal poster board idea that you can do with poster board slash collage. Hi again, it's me, Denise, just jumping in the middle of this video to see if you like this video so far. So if you do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you like so far about this video. And subscribe, the subscribe button is right over here. And most importantly, hit that bell, that way you get notified every single time I upload, which is every other day. Okay, let's jump right back into this video. All right, so let's get to the vertical one. Now we're going to do the vertical one. This is the board I'm gonna use. I'm gonna do about five pictures on here. And then like I said, you can also switch up your pictures too. Like I'm going back and forth between doing some profile shots and then some when he was just a little tiny, you know, little tiny sack. And you're going to need the same materials as before. The double-sided tape, the pictures, the poster board, and the scissors. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is decide where I want all five of my pictures. I was thinking about just having them go straight down or maybe like a zigzag type of way. So I'm just gonna decide how I wanna do that. So it looks like the pictures don't wanna fit. So I might have to do just four pictures. Okay. So now that I know where I want to put the pictures, I'm going to cut the tape for them. And let's see, I'm going to do four pieces of tape for each picture. So I'm going to need 16 little pieces of tape. And like I said, this is double-sided tape. I'd rather use this to put behind the pictures than using like regular scotch tape. Cause then even though scotch tape is clear, there's also a shine on it sometimes. And I wouldn't want the shine to take away from the picture or anything. Or like I wouldn't want to cover the front of the picture. So so that's why I would want to use this double side tape. Also, I feel like with double side tape, if you needed to put a lot of double side tape on there, on the back, no one can really see it. But if you put a lot of like scotch tape, people could definitely see if there's tape all over it, holding it down and everything. So that's why I think double side tape is better. You can just stick it on the back, put a little, put a lot, and no one will really see. No one will really know. So what I'm going to do now is just take the picture and put tape on all four spots, all four corners. Okay, so just like that, and I'm gonna do that to all four pictures. For this picture here, I decided to do two profile pictures of the baby and then two pictures when he was just like a little tiny sack, a little tiny blob actually. All right like that and then I don't mind that there's extra white on the sides here since the board is actually white itself I feel like it will blend in I'm not too worried about that okay so tape it up now I'm just going to remove this I'm gonna remove this extra paper here and put them in the spots that I want on the poster board and I'm going to do that to all of them okay oh this is being difficult Here we go okay so now that it's removed I can just put it in the spot that I want it and I'm gonna do that to the next ones okay the last one okay so here is what that one looks like. I wanted to do like a zigzag kind of idea, but I like the two profile shots and then the two little small ones. And then what I like about all the extra space here too, is you could put your baby's name, you could put like baby boy, some blue hearts or blue designs. I think that's what I'm gonna do, depending on how creative you wanna get or how simple. Also, if you wanted to match your nursery, like if you have a black and white theme, then this would be perfect, nice, simple black and white. But if you also have have a color theme and you want to incorporate some colors in there you definitely can do that too so yeah there's this idea so these are the two poster ideas that you could do poster board slash collage ideas that you can use with your pictures yeah I like these you should definitely try them comment down below if you try out this idea and then send me a link to it because I would love to see it 
So this is the very first one that I did, the horizontal one. I really do think it's cute. I didn't decide to do anything on the edge like I wanted to. I think it looks cute just like this. If you're at home and you decide to do this, you can definitely spice it up, add some color, throw it in there, give it a personal touch. You can maybe put your baby's name in there. You can do so much with this. And this is the second one. I really like this one, the idea of having it being vertical. I also didn't decide to change this one either. Either. I couldn't decide if I wanted to put the baby's name or if I wanted to put blue things on it I just didn't know what to do so I left it like this and I do like it comment down below if you guys decided to do a collage like this or a poster board like this for this next idea, I've seen so many different versions of this. It's a banner style way of hanging the pictures. You just take a string or a wire and then you can clip the ultrasound pictures onto it and you can have them hanging down. There's so many different versions. I'll insert a few pictures right here, right here, and right here. There's just so many different ways that you can do this, but I'm gonna show you the way that I decided to do it right now. For this idea, it's going to be a banner. I have this rope here, and we're just gonna make a banner strip of ultrasound pictures. So what you're gonna need for this is either a rope or some string, some scissors, some safety pins, obviously some more string depending on how long you want to do the banner and then ultrasound pictures. I'm gonna do two separate banners and the first banner is going to have six pictures so I'm just gonna grab six bobby pins if they want to get untangled. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start from the middle of the rope. This is the rope here. It's a little shorter than arm's length and let's see the middle kind of about over here and what I'm gonna do is take a safety pin through the white part of the picture just like this so it comes out like that and I'm not messing up the actual photo of the baby itself and I'm just gonna put it right through the rope and see and it's gonna be something like that now it is wavy the picture is wavy but what you can do to fix that is to leave the pictures inside of a textbook or a heavy book or just put something heavy on top of the picture and it will definitely flatten it out so now I'm just gonna do that with all the pictures like I said just take the safety pin go through the white part in the middle like that actually this wasn't even in the middle but it's in a fine spot even if putting the pictures inside of a book doesn't help flatten them out, hanging the pictures up will definitely flatten them out because they'll just get used to hanging down and then eventually they'll be straight. And also what I'm doing with this rope too is I'm not putting the rope inside of the safety pin. I'm actually putting the safety pin through the rope. That way when it's hung up you won't really see it. And hopefully you don't see it. Then also be a little gentle too because I just ripped the hole that I made. So just be a little gentle when you're doing yours. Okay, so I put all the pictures on there. So this is what it's looking like. Like I said, the pictures are a little wrinkly and they're not even even all the way on the rope, but that's an easy fix. Since they're safety pinned, all you have to do is undo the safety pin and slide them over. I did try to measure them out, but these pictures are really small actually. Plus these are gonna be up against the wall anyway, so like so they're gonna be on the wall like that. If you could even see it. But once you hang them on your wall, you can just literally turn them around. But this is the banner idea. And then if you have a whole lot of pictures, you can definitely do multiple rows, like one row, two rows of all banners, depending on how many ultrasound pictures that you have. So there's that idea. I do have more string and more pictures, so I'm going to do the second one right now. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab a few bobby pins. I need seven. I mean, safety pins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got seven bobby pins. Going to take the safety pin, put it through the middle of the picture. And then this is the one that says it's a boy, so I'm going to purposely put this one in the middle. So first, you locate the middle. This string is also pretty thin, so I'm not sure if I can put the safety pin through here. I hope so. Hope I don't stab myself. Oh, okay, there we go. No problem. There we go. So we got one. And we have six more to go. And that was pretty easy. So this should be pretty quick. Like these ideas don't really take a long time. I think the thing that's most time consuming is cutting the pictures out, especially depending on how many pictures that you have. If you're also doing this too, I think a good idea would be to measure out your spacing between the pictures. Because like I said, my first one, they're like not even centered. So that's one thing I would keep an eye out for. 
before. And I would also put your safety pin through the string first or the rope, depending whatever material that you're using for the banner. Put it through there first, so that way if you're having a hard time getting it through the rope, you won't be too rough and like rip the picture. Cause that's what I did actually. I think I ripped two of them. I ripped the hole that it was in. So this is coming along. Oh, there's a big space right there. Then like if there is a big space, all you gotta do is take it out and slide it right over. And then I could have easily just grabbed a marker and put dots, dots on the rope where I needed the pictures to go, but I didn't think that far ahead, but it's still okay. Yeah, I think this is coming out pretty good. This is the finished product for the banner one on rope. But yeah, this is it. I think this is really cute. It looks weird because all the pictures are like bent and they're not laying flat. But I already told you guys a good hack for flattening them out, leave them in a textbook, put something really heavy on them. But yeah, so just so you guys can see a little close up, it's just rope or string, safety pin, and then the picture. And then you could just hang this up on the wall, hang this above the crib. That's actually what I think I'm gonna do. Hang these two layers right above the crib for the baby. It's a super cute idea. This is the banner idea, even though you can't even see the pictures. So this is the first banner that I did. It does look weird that it's not hanging up against the wall because the pictures are all turned and everything. But when you hang this on the wall, it definitely lays straight. And like I said earlier, if you guys have a problem with the pictures bending or folding, just put them in a textbook or put something heavy on top of it, lay the picture flat, and then put something on top of the picture and that will definitely help it flatten out. So this was the very first one. And then this, was the second banner this one's actually really long and i really like this one and like i said it looks weird that the pictures are all turned and like all curled up but it definitely looks nice once you hang it on the wall once you hang it on the wall you can turn them straight if you wanted to you could actually take them to the wall that way they lay completely straight you don't have to worry about the wind blowing them or anything like that so that wraps it up for this video on a few ideas of what to do with your ultrasound pictures if you guys used these ideas for your ultrasound pictures, definitely comment down below and let me know which idea did you do. If there's an idea that I didn't list that you have done, comment that down below and let me know. I'm always interested in new ideas. I do have a few more appointments left, so I'm sure that I'm going to get a ton more of ultrasound pictures. So I'm definitely interested in more ideas. I really hope that you enjoy these ultrasound photo decor ideas. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below your favorite part, and share this video with all your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. The subscribe button is right over here. And hit the bell. Most importantly, hit the bell so that you get notified every time I upload, which is every other day. Also, check out the links down below. The links to my social media and on my channel, make sure you check out the playlist that I have for my painting videos or my photography videos. Subscribe and join the family. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!